darkness can never overcome the light that's why it is written about the birth of jesus in st john's gospel chapter 1 verse 4 to 5 he came into the world as the light for what that light that shines in darkness our life may have so much of darkness so much of weakness so much of disturbances so much of sin but his light shines in our darkness that's why in the psalm 18 verse 28 to 29 david a fallen man having received the love of the lord he never got stuck up with the sin but he got up with the mercy and love of god and he started to rebuild his life he said lord you brighten my darkness and you empower me to leap over the walls lord you brighten my darkness and you empower me to leap over the walls yes love makes us to get up and to move ahead in life that's why in the book of isaiah chapter 54 verse 11 it is written are you disturbed have you broken all that i gave you and you made your life a mess well i will come to clean up the mess that you made of life and i will rebuild your life now god brings adam and eve together gives them a work where they have to be each other when one plows another has to bring the food by plowing you can't cook by cooking you can't plow and produce so both have to do different type of works and both have to depend on each other if it doesn't work no food if the food is not cooked you can't plow so god puts them together and he gives them a work called farming whereby they will depend on each other it was found among the diverse cases in the world the least diverse cases are found among the farmers the farmers yes because whatever we do take care that we depend on each other that love between each other never fails yes love dies for us that's why we read in john's gospel chapter 1 verse 9 he who lights everyone in the world has come about the birth of jesus it is written in john's gospel chapter 1 verse 9 he who enlightens everyone has come into the world to enlighten all of us yes he who enlightens everybody he who guides everybody he who brings light to all those who are in darkness has come into the world yes jesus saw people broken wounded and he went around doing good in st john's gospel chapter 5 we read a man who was lying in a pool near bethsaida for 38 years that means even before jesus was born that man is lying there you can understand his body might have been full of wounds 
bed sores he may be dying today or tomorrow that may be his case jesus knew that he was a sinner but he never spoke about sin first he has to be raised up first he has to be experience the power of god the mercy of god so he lifts him up and then the next day he sees him in the temple and says look look now you are okay because of the mercy of god see to it that you don't sin again that the worst thing may happen to you take care you don't sin again don't be try to smart to play with god your boy told his a girl we should not be caught so you go there and i'll go in my way after i becoming i will take you back after i become big i will take you back they promised their mother now we will not see each other i know of a boy he fell in love with a girl belonging to another faith and the mother and father said how can you give up jesus for the sake of this girl no we will not accept that the mother said if you marry that girl i will die many mothers do like that and that boy was a little frightened worried so he told the mother no more talking with that girl for me my father and mother are important mother and father are so happy what obedient son he is for us no more cell phone you can check my cell phone i will never call her but they did not know you can have two cell phones one cell phone was always a place where nobody can see one day the father wanted to wash the bathroom of the son because it was smelling so much and he was trying to put the tank water that it can flush it out what is not coming he said what is not coming so he threw away some water which was in the next tap cleaned up maybe something is wrong with the tank so he called the man guru pays and said go and look into that my son's bathroom water is not coming the tank is not working summer the water is not reaching the tank i think the man came back and said who oh, said sir your tank is okay but the valve is closed that the water is not going inside and i found something in the tank what is that a cell phone is kept inside the tank so the son talks to that girl every day in the bathroom there the father and mother could not see and what he has written the father went through the message like any boy right he writes my father is an angry man my mother is she is very strong lady she will find out you be there where you are i will act here as though nothing has happened to me i will act i am changed and they will believe me and after that i will come and marry you he thought he is more more clever and he is 
willing to hurt and cheat the one who fed him the heart of the father was broken he wept and cried he wept and cried yes god loves but man continues to live for himself the selfishness comes because man never reflects on love man takes love for granted when man doesn't meditate on the love of god when man doesn't understand the pain the price that love pays for me he takes love for granted and continues to live for himself